Half of our blueberry planting is about 10 years old, and the other half needs replanting. And so this is a good time to take care of that. We have container-grown plants here that can be put in at any time of the year, but mid-March is really the ideal. If you want to think about planting blueberries, keep in mind a few key points. They need to be a container-grown plant, and it needs to be a two-year-old container-grown plant. The way you tell the age of it is to look at the woody tissue on it. This was the first year when the cutting was taken and it grew, and this is the growth that occurred last year. So this tells me this is a two-year-old container-grown plant. The reason we want it at that age is so that the beneficial fungi that are on the roots get well established so that when it's planted into soil where it's not native, it can continue to get well established and will get a root, good root system. We've prepared our hole ahead of time by mixing in half peat moss and half soil, so we have a fairly acidic pH and we also want it to be raised up and well drained but at the same time have plenty of mulch available and a drip irrigation system. Blueberries don't have root hairs per se. In fact they're in the same family as azaleas and they have a very very fine root system that is not very resilient and so when we plant it it needs fairly precise conditions. It needs to be in full sun but it needs as I mentioned before good drainage and plenty of moisture. I'm just going to backfill it around this. They're fairly easy to plant. The biggest mistake most people make is in planting them too deep. And so you want to make sure that you plant the top of it right at the soil line and then mulch over it. When you're done, you don't want to fertilize the blueberries. It's important to let them grow for one to two months and then put about one ounce of ammonium sulfate around them for fertilization. The last step in planting the blueberries is to prune them back. And this is some recent information we have on getting them well established just to cut them back by about a third to a half at planting time. Make sure you keep them watered, take good care of them, and in a couple of years they'll yield great fruit for you. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.